Hey everybody, in this video um, we're doing some diode testing. So I have another video where I showed you diode testing with some real multimeters that I have here at home. Um, in this video we are going to look at testing the diode with the Agilent multimeter um, which is now a key sight meter um, that is in multi-sim here. So um, you can see what I've got here is I've got three um, three multimeters. I've got one multimeter not hooked up to anything. I have one multimeter um, connected to forward bias the diode and I've got one multimeter connected to reverse bias the the diode. Okay, so things to note here um, this setting right here, this connection right here is this connection over here on the meter. Um, this connection right here is this connection right here on the meter. Okay, and you can see on meters where I've where I've made those connections, it's it's showing you here um, the symbol that I actually have uh, something connected there. Right, you can see on the top meter, um, I I don't have anything connected there, so that looks different, right? So I can tell that I've connected to the the right spots here, and so. Um, the red terminal is at the top, um, so let me actually color these terminals and and leave the color on there just so you remember that that is the ground connection or the low low side connection, and this is the the volt ohm diode test input high side connection. So. Um, so if I connect it like like I have here with the higher voltage connected to to the anode then I have forward biased the diode and notice in this one I've, I've flipped the diode around so that it's reverse biased. So what we're going to do um, is I'll show you what settings I made on the multimeter here and then I'll run the simulation and we'll see what the values are. So to, to set these, uh, what I did was I turned, I turned the, the multimeters on, I pressed the shift button and then I pressed this button because you can see it's got the diode test symbol but it's at the top which means I have to press shift first. Okay, so that's what I did just like I would do if I were in the lab. And so now I'm going to run my simulation here in multi-sim and oh I've got terrible noise in the background so let me just uh, stop that. Um, but my meeting, my readings have remained here so we can see them. Um, we have the, the meter uh, open, not connected to anything, and it's giving a, a dashed reading like this. The forward bias diode is indicating a small forward um, forward voltage under these test conditions. Um, may not be what you see in actual use in the circuit. Um, and when the diode is reversed biased, what we are seeing is uh, an open indication on the uh, on the screen and so open is what we expect for a reverse bias condition that tells us the diode is good it is not allowing any current to flow um, in that scenario so that is excellent and so what you what you can see is that for this um, forward bias circuit we do have current flowing and um, for the reverse biased no current, right? It's 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 looking like an open circuit, and that these are appropriate um, readings that we should see in the test situation. If your diode was bad, um, 
you could see open in in both directions. You might uh, you might quite often see that, and so that would indicate that that your diode had failed open and was bad. Um, but what we see here is a good a good working diode.